Okay. Starting to work on the front suspension. I already disconnected the caliper. I'm gonna put new calipers, new hoses on here. Now, let's see. Just disconnecting these two instead of this kind of tie rod. It's the tie rods, and just the whole steering system will be done later. First, I want to take care of the ball joints and springs and everything, bushings. So. One bolt, second bolt. As you can see, the tie rod is. Free can just stay here. Okay. I'm gonna put the bolts back so I don't lose them. Have new bushings for it and everything, control arms. Okay, so it's coming out. Let me just take it out and then I'll swap. So this guy's unhooked. So now I can remove this bolt completely. I already loosened these two on the top, so it's ready to come out. So, and the bolt. Also, started removing the shock. I'll swap the shock for my double 126. They're the same. Okay, now let me grab this. So we have this bolt washer, okay, and then uh, what else? And this washer we have to pop off. It looks like all right. So have to pound out this bolt. See if this brake line is going to be in the way. I can move this brake line a little bit. Alright, there's my bolt. Yeah. It's good that it wasn't really seized, just a little bit. Okay, now I have to get a pry bar to pry this thing out. These are gonna be toast too. That's the second one. Let's see if I can wiggle this around. Like so, with a screwdriver. Let's try it. They're not so bad, but they're still gonna be replaced. Okay, now let's see. Oh, usually these go bad, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this a little bit and then put undercoating here. Okay. My new one. I tried to paint it a little bit more, but. Uh, the paint doesn't want to stick too well, so that's a difference. New one and the uh, old one, and then uh, these ones are also. 
the new bushings. Let's see for um, this control arm. So, the old ones, these are the new ones. Alright. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna put anti seize here. Let's see. Put this anti seize right over here, everywhere. It's good to put on the coating here, too. I don't have it today, but that's fine. Okay. Alright, so that's there. Now, let's see. What do I wanna do? This one's gonna go first. This is the first one. I'm gonna go on like so. The control arm is gonna go right there. It's my bolt. Also put a lot of anti seize on it. Let's see. I'm gonna try to line it up and uh, install this bolt. So, this is tightened down. I didn't tighten it all the way. I'm gonna do that when the car is on the ground. Okay, so shock is removed, and then I unbolted the guide rod mount, and then the ball joint right here. So now I just have to pound it, and then um, the steering knuckle is gonna come off. So, gonna do that next. Let's see. This is all loose, so I'm gonna take it off. This thing. Right here. There we go. Oh, is really bad.
This is my boat. I have to put it on now. These ball joints really suck. There's no space to put a cup in here to press them in and yeah. I had to heat this whole thing up. And then I had to pound it with a hammer to get it out of there. Didn't want to move. It's probably original. So I'll be replacing that of course and um, the bearings are still fine but I want to change them repack them and everything so these are the two shock absorbers KYB okay it's made in Japan but they're from W126 chassis and this guy right here let me compare them this guy is from W123 it's still good though. And this is from W126, so I mean they kind of look the same. So I'm hoping these are gonna work on W123. I'm not sure, but hopefully they work. So it's gonna be awesome then. So I want to really install these for now in the front because these are healthy. And this is these shocks are still good too, but I don't know. We'll see. If these don't work, then I'll just put this back. Cause I mean this is still okay. So, got two of these for the front. I'm gonna leave them here for now. And then, uh, this is my exhaust manifold and my turbo. So, I'm gonna have to clean all of this up. Bunch of sh stuff in here, junk. So, alright, guys. I'm doing the front suspension rebuild. Got, got my parts. Again, my new ball joint, and the knuckle, new bushings. Okay. And got these bushings for the guide rod and inserts. This is the guide rod mount right here. See, let's give you. If you guys need like a part number or something, right here. So, I'm gonna be using that Bilstein spring. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna start uh, putting everything back on this side. As you saw, I replaced this control arm already, so. So, this control arm, it's gonna go in first. Gotta feed it through. So control arm is pretty much in. Okay, here's my bolt. And, uh, it's my anti-seize, putting all over the bolt, so it doesn't seize. Installed it. There we go. All right, that's all the way. Now it's my washer, special washer right here for the alignment. I'm gonna clean it up and install that. It's only gonna go one one way. So the washer is sitting. And final thing is new nut or the old one, whatever. They only gave me a new nut in the kit. They didn't give me the bolt, so this goes there. I'm gonna tighten everything once the car is dropped on the ground. So I'm just gonna leave it like this right now, okay? Next step is this uh, spring support. But no, actually, before that, you gotta take care of these. Uh, mounts right here for the guide rod my mounts are in 
top and the bottom. <clears throat> but basically now, this uh, this thing has to face to the right. Now I'm gonna get uh, this rod. I'm gonna insert it right there, and then I can put the bolt through. All right. So, so I set this thing secured like that for now. So what I wanna do? I wanna install this guide rod onto this rod. So before I do that, I'm gonna coat this in uh, anti-C so my threads don't rust in the future, have the, no issues. So, okay, let's try that. more here. I think the biggest challenge of this job will be to put the spring back but we will be able to do that so okay so that's done now I can put this rod like this just start screwing it on okay. guide rod Guide rod is gonna go right there now, and this end is gonna go right here. Let me install that. Such a hot day today, guys. So, um, anyways, that's installed. The mount for this rod, that mount, the three bolts are in, and uh, yeah, well, basically, now just gotta put this uh, lower spring support on, which goes like this. Here we go, and um, I'm gonna find those bolts, just these bolts for it, small ones, I'm just gonna install them, alright, let's see, and one, second one, third one. I'm gonna tighten them down. So as you can see, I installed this, and uh, those bolts are tight now. And uh, the thing is that I tightened this before already, before I put this on. I didn't tighten that one yet, so this way I can move it up and down. All right. So now I wanna. So I'll have. Like, I don't really have, I won't really be able, like, to paint it later or anything. I mean, I could, but I'm just gonna undercoat this uh, lower coil spring uh, part. Make sure you leave that hole uh, open so, so the water can drain or anything. So, and yeah, and, and I'm gonna just put some undercoating on this thing. I'm not gonna undercoat the rest of the suspension yet. I'm probably gonna get, like, uh, some paint and brush and make it look better, you know, than just undercoating. But we'll see, I haven't decided yet, so. Anyways, I'm gonna undercoat this and then let it sit, and then I'm gonna get ready to um, install my spring. As a result, while it's drying, I'm gonna get my spring. Let's see. Spring. So, I'm going to be installing that. Alright, it's a beautiful day today. And, I haven't told you yet, but I started disassembling the engine and everything, so... I'll probably be doing the timing chain on it and all that stuff, so... Alright, anyways, I also got my spring compressor anything but it's the most important thing the coil spring pad this thing is gonna be facing up it goes up so before that I'm gonna put some lube on here this is just a regular wheel bearing grease just gonna put it here just coat everything a little bit so everything's gonna be nice and smooth Okay. Alright. 
just a little bit, not too much. All right. And then after that, I'm gonna close this now. Let's see. I'm gonna put this on the top. Coil spring pad is installed. And I don't know, I don't think I'll be able to put it in without a spring compressor, so I'm gonna try it over, but we'll see. Probably have to put the spring, uh, install the spring compressor. Spring compressor. Okay, I'm just tightening it right now. Okay, so spring is pretty much sitting all compressed. There's a compressor inside. So I'm gonna get a jack and start jacking it up here. Okay, so I can try to sit this all the way. I jacked up this suspension. Spring is sitting good here and on top. Now I'm gonna grab my wrench, go right here and start loosening the spring compressor. Okay. And remember, make sure you have a jack underneath. If not, the spring is really tough. It's gonna can kill you. Okay, so now it's good. It's pretty much loose. I can remove my Okay, I can take this out. Oh, I'm gonna have to remove this. No, it's not yet loose, so I have to go all the way, and then I'll show you how I remove this uh, compressor uh, spring pads out of here. Okay, guys, so this is out, but I had to do the job twice. Let me explain. This compressor here, this part is too thick and my mistake was I didn't check it if it goes through first and it didn't go through so what I had to do is I had to take everything out again I had to grind this with my grinder right here and yeah it was it sucked yeah, honestly but then now I have this installed supported now I have it all uh, jacked up by this where the ball joint goes because over here it's you know it's potential for this thing to slip so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna install the shock absorber I'm gonna try this like I said it's from W126 chassis it looks similar maybe it's gonna work I don't know I'm gonna try this and this thing when I put the shock absorber it's gonna hold it and then I can start installing the knuckles and everything else the top part is threaded in my thing it looks like it's gonna work so I'm pretty excited it's KYB uh, shock absorbers and they're still good there's no issues with them so these are the bolts and they're gonna go right here Let's see there we go and try to find the second one Second one goes in the back, right there. Okay, let me try something. Line it up. Uh, there we go. Now I just have to use a wrench, 10 millimeter, and put them on. I'm gonna do the bottom first and then the top. One now. Alright guys, so unfortunately this shock absorber didn't work because it's got different fitting and I was not able to uh, thread it in and uh, it was just loose in there on the top it was fine on the bottom but loose on the top so I had to put the other one back 
from W123 and it's good you know it's still got life I mean the, these are a little bit cracked the bushings but it's still really tight and it's a good shock absorber so I don't know what brand it is maybe I don't think it's original probably was replaced before but anyways but as you can see the jack is lowered and shock absorber is holding the spring and everything so you have to worry about anything now I'm gonna get my knuckle which is right here okay with my new ball joint okay so I'm gonna grab this knuckle I'm gonna start installing it here and remove this knot for now okay so I'm gonna start installing this right here okay let me move this right here I'm gonna put a knot on the top I'm just finishing up with this ball joint lower. see that's the condition of my bearings so I'll be doing them and replacing them all this grease it's junk okay so I'm gonna put, put it on tighten everything and put the caliper for lower ball joints are done all right so now there's this uh, plate right here trying to undercoat it but since I'm not gonna do the brakes or bearings in this uh, video I'm gonna do it in the other video next time I'm also gonna install new calipers in the front new hoses and everything pads I'm gonna leave it aside now I'm gonna put this back before I put it back make sure this is clean okay I really wanna clean it up then I'm gonna just put some bearing grease inside like a little bit on the top here just in case so I'll be moving this car a little bit probably it's gonna go to the garage soon so right now just wanna coat it a little bit all the way around okay and yeah, that's good enough all right now put this whole assembly in so let's take this I'm just gonna put it in all right so well, it kind of sucks with one hand but let's try it okay so this is in all right I gotta pop this cover there's gonna be that knot that I have to tighten these bearings are. I mean, you. Anyways, when I do my bearings and brakes, I'll show you. I'll remove that. Let's see how good it spins. So I'm really sweaty, but the job's pretty much done on the left front of the car I'm gonna start getting ready to do the right front but first and the car is still in the air so I'm gonna drop put the wheel on drop the car and then tighten everything that's needed so you don't want to tighten anything that's still in the air basically especially the bushings all right so 
everything is back, caliper, everything is tightened up, except for that those bushings, that lower bushing right there. I'm gonna tighten those when I drop the car completely on the ground. As you can see, the bolt is still loose. So, all right. Okay. Where's the rest of my lug bolts? is all the way on the ground. I'm gonna start tightening this and then tighten it all the way. I used to do that on Saturdays and you know just uh, pretty much every Saturday. How about your car? Can you clean Uh every once in a while. What year is that car? Mine? 99. I'm gonna get ready to push this inside. really raining bad. Put the cover on because I opened the window. Yeah, we're gonna get ready to push this inside the garage. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy I, get, I got the suspension done and all that stuff on this side. This side is still, still needs to be done. Okay. So, so, just doing the front suspension here. Again, the other side, the right front now. Spring is removed, right there. Everything is pretty much disconnected. Just gotta drop this down. You gotta separate the knuckle here. This is my disc brake with all the bearings and stuff. My shock right there, so. Yeah, so. It's that. It's my engine like I said this side is pretty much done the steering components will be replaced later so all right hopper control arm look at that it came apart actually it's original right here so all this stuff and putting new stuff on now so got this all off all right sprayed I just uh, put undercoating here so now I'm just separating the guide rod this one is kind of shot but can still be used Really long thread here. Oops, there we go. Okay, just gotta separate the knuckle now. So, when I remove this caliper, what would happen? Part of the brake pad just broke off. So, I'm putting brake pads on it anyway. So, anyways, taking all that. Rebuilding that shock is still good. Same time, I'm gonna start doing the steering stuff. <sighs> All that. Now it's cleanup time. I can put the lower control arm, upper control arm. Right. So, yeah. See, PB Germany. No, make... no Chinese shit. See, right there. Shit. So. Do they sell like Japanese? Oh uh, no, that's only for German cars. Oh, so, okay. yeah. All right, so uh, this control arm is gonna go on. And these bushings too. So, I'm gonna get ready right here to put them on. And then, uh, yeah, this should be pretty dried up. Or not yet, actually. Might have to wait a little bit, but. Send me a couple of those pictures. Uh,
All right. Look at these bushings. Really, no good. bushes new guide rod mount and then this one this is another new mount and now start installing this I tighten this I didn't tighten that and I have to still tighten that and like I said um, this is gonna be tightened when the car is on the ground and also this thing Install this spring support. And if I can find these bolts right here. One second, third. the brakes are bled everything is good it's ready to go okay and um, yeah suspension is done wheel bearings are done so the front is pretty much done except for the steering components but you know the brakes and everything it's good still have to put the sensors for the brake pads but other than that, I mean, it's all good. So, yeah, and then when I drop everything down, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to uh, tighten these bushings, that one, and that one right there, and then the one underneath. But that's gonna be, the car's gonna be dropped down to the floor. So, 